everyone, welcome back to Vintage Vanity. And today I am showing you how to create this rockabilly hairstyle. It is so quick and so easy. You guys are gonna absolutely love it. Uh, let's go ahead and get the tutorial started. I'm doing this look on freshly washed hair. The only curlers I put in were two medium sized hot rollers, all going forward, just the uh, bang section of the hair. Just left them in for a couple minutes. So we're going to go ahead and take these out. And the reason why I did this is because I want the hair naturally to be rolling forward. And having a little bit of curl in there will help our bang look a little bit later. So now what we're going to do, we're going to section off the bang section. So we have, there we go. There's our bang section. Now let's just go ahead and kind of pin these out of the way for the time being. For the rest of the hair, it's really simple. You're just going to brush it up into a high ponytail. You want that ponytail to sit right on top of the head, so right behind where we sectioned off for our bangs. Take your hair tie, wrap it around until it's nice and tight. If you have extremely thick hair, you can probably skip this next step. You're gonna take small sections of hair and you're just going to back comb down the length of the hair. And you're going to do that for all the hair in the ponytail. So it should look like this when you're done. Go ahead and just take a little bit of hairspray. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our massive a bump of hair here. And we're going to bring it forward. And then you just want to very lightly comb the hair. Just on this very top section here. Now that you've got that looking smooth, you're going to gather up the ends of the hair here. And all you're going to do is you're going to take it and curl it towards the base of your ponytail. So you want the ends touching the ponytail holder. I like to use these big straight hair pins to take larger sections. So basically right where my finger is, I'm just going to slip in that pin. Then you're just going to take the hair and start to spread it apart. Bring it down to the sides of the head. Then take your smaller bobby pins and you're just going to pin at each side. So basically you should have a big old poof on the top of your head. Now to make it really stable, what I'm going to do here in the back, see these two sides on either side of the ponytail holder, I'm going to take a bobby and I'm going to place it in on each side. That just makes our poof really nice and secure. Alright, so let's release the front of the hair. And then before we deal with that, you just want to smooth any flyaways on the side of your hair here. If you have shorter layers here in this area, you're either going to want to bring those shorter layers to the side and tuck them in or pin them right at the base here so that they don't fly, fly away later. All right, so for the bangs, guess what guys? We're going we're gonna to do some back combing. I know, it's shocking. This time we're gonna take our entire section of bangs and we're gonna go down the length of the hair. And then I'm gonna grab the very front section and I'm gonna back comb right at the very base of it because that's what's gonna give me height. So now, yeah, you got sit hairspray. And then lightly comb it on the top. And I do lightly comb it on the bottom. Again, making sure not to brush through any of the back combing. Comb our ends nice and smooth. We're going to bring the bangs a little off to the side, so I'm just going to kind of brush the front of the hair a little bit off to the side. And grab those ends of the bangs, wrap it around your fingers, and bring it right to the base of your head. Take your bobby pin, and right where your finger is, you're going to pin it on the one side. I'm going to stick my finger in going the other way to keep it in place. And then I'm going to pin right at the base by my finger on this side. You know, you should be able to take your finger away and your curl should stay in place. Now go ahead and kind of put your fingers in and softly accordion the bangs. They should feel really secure if they feel a little wobbly, a little timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly. Go ahead, take another bobby and place it in as well. It should feel nice and secure. Then take your hairspray. There we go. That is our basic style for this, but we need to add the most important bit, which is our scarf. 
Then I'm going to bring the scarf up. And right between our poof and our bangs, we're going to tie it. Now, I just really loosely do this because what I'm now going to do is secure the scarf. Because these are, to me, a little bit trickier than the bandanas. And then right here at the top, right by the knot that we're going to put in, I place in a bobby pin. And then you can tie the knot. Do a little bit of a bow here. Makes it look a little cuter. A little cuter. Kind of fluff up the bow a little bit. Because it makes it a little cuter. Okay, mine's pretty slippery slidey today. So I'm going to actually pin right behind the ear here. I find that doing it there kind of makes it a little less noticeable, but um, your ears kind of tend to hide. So there you go. That is our quick and easy rockabilly hairstyle. I hope you guys really enjoy this. This is honestly one of my favorite ways to be wearing my hair lately. Head in the comment section below. Let me know how you like this hairstyle. How you like it. Now, I know the YouTube comment system is a little messed up right now, so if you are having a problem commenting on the videos, go ahead and hop over to my Facebook page, which you'll find a link in the description, and leave your comments there as well. And real quick before I let you go, I just wanted to say, again, a, a huge thank you for all the loves and energy and prayers that you guys have been sending my way as far as little Emma Jane Austen is concerned, my little furry furball. She is home. She is doing much better. She is eating. She is drinking now and her kidney functions are coming back to normal so we do have her on some fluids so hopefully we'll be able to taper those off and she will be back to her healthy full healthy healthy self uh, but I could not be more more happy and your, your guys support really really did help thank you ever so much for all the well wishes I am feeling so much better and happy to be home my tummy feels good and I'm eating again and I want to say a big thank you to my friend Linda for telling my mommy to buy me that wonderful water fountain I just love it it's so good so kisses for all my lovelies I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you on Sunday bye